been playing career mode, but it never ends. How many have you seen the longest possible time you can play career mode for? Who knows, by the end of this, we may end up in the year 3000. And we're gonna need a team to control. I wanna stay in the prime, I'm going Manchester City. Now, as you can see, we're starting in the year 2021. And in a normal career mode, it would only last 15 seasons, but I'm using a mod which should make it last forever. But sometimes as the months and years go on, um, the, the game starts to run out of players. So even though this career mode should go on forever, it's gonna break at some point. We're just gonna see how long it takes for that to happen. We'll try to control the city throughout the entire however many years, but we could end up getting sacked. Something to look forward to as we sim throughout the years. I've added Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. to this, and I've also added Thiago Messi. He's literally nine years old right now. Throughout this video, we're gonna be tracking which teams become the best over the years. Also, Thiago Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. And it's just gonna be interesting to see this is man city's team at the start what will it look like at the end i'm not gonna show you every year but i'll show you the first year june 2022 Let's keep our tracker on the screen this is this is year number 2022 where everything is pretty normal we've won the prime with city and we've lost in the champions league final to chelsea are you kidding me man city team's obviously looking very spectacular right no one cares about year one we've seen this a million times i think we should advance to like i don't know how about year five here it is july 2027 we can go to my career right here next and here's what we've done in the meantime five league titles one domestic cup one continental cup 234 wins at the end of this video that number may be in the tens of thousands of wins oh where's phil foden gone hello oh he's still here he's 92 overall foden 27 years old now. Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. is now a free agent at 17 years old and Thiago Messi, 15 years old, still on Arsenal. Yeah, I don't know why I put them on Arsenal. I'm gonna leave Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. as a free agent and we're gonna see who signs him. And I'm trying to find normal Ronaldo, but it looks like he retired. And Messi too. Wow. All right, 2027, we've seen this a million times. I think we need to go, what are we saying? Five more years into the future? When you see this next screen, make sure you keep an eye on this team. It's about to look a whole lot different in five years. So I decided I'm gonna give you little updates along the way. In 2028, we won our second Champions League final with Man City. And Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. joined Tottenham. France beat England for the Euros. Spent the entire year of 2029 loading up Man City's Youth Academy. And things started to get a little weird. And by weird, I mean a team in our group doesn't have a name. They're like, do you see what this is? I'm having a hard time comprehending this. And we're not even that far into career mode. This is only like the eighth or ninth season we've simmed to. So things are only going to get weirder from here on out. 2030, we won the Champions League again. And the World Cup in 2030 was won by Italy. All right, 2031, it's time to check in on our team. The worst player on our team, 45-year-old Scott Carson. The man is 25 overall. Yeah, I kind of made it so no one on our team could retire. Hence why Riyad Mar is 42 overall and Gundawan is 48 overall but we do have some sick players Julian Alvarez I didn't know this man's potential was that high 98 overall starting 11 <laughs> looking very 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 different how many wins are we up to total 407 wins 100 draws and 86 losses also you can see the competition seven league titles three domestic cups and four champions leagues won and it's only the year 2031 we have a long ways to go Boys, I know this video is going by quick. I mean, I'm doing quick cuts, but in reality, this is taking me ages to record. Hey, while we're simming, I'm, I'm, eat, I'm eating my tacos. It's Cinco de Mayo. Prime energy while we simulate. Yep, that's great. That's good. They even just recline my chair and take a nap, you know, because why not? Ooh. Oh, God. Oh, get my back. Don't, don't do that again. No naps. I've done all that, and we're only in October of 2031. Yep. Okay, well, let's cut to whatever interesting is going to happen next. In 2022, Sweden wins the Euros. Oh, wait, what? In 2023, we check on Thiago Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo Jr., who are doing really, really well. And I'm also releasing players like Scott Carson, Riyad Mahrez, and Gundogan, so we can make room for more youth academy players. In 2034, 
Spain wins the World Cup. And now in June 2035, it's time for us to make some changes because Man City just finished 12th in the Premier League and Chelsea finished first. Yeah, this team's okay, only kind of because of Alvarez. 35-year-old Phil Foden just isn't, isn't working out for us anymore. And also he's about to join Leipzig. Oh yeah, we're definitely leaving. I forgot it's our new contracts. Everyone is about to leave our team. Look, look at all the red contracts. One month left. All right, there's only one club for us to join. We're joining Chelsea. I'm so excited to see who's on this team. Probably all going to be like fake players, I would guess. Chelsea in 2035. We actually have some familiar faces. Kai Havertz is 90 overall. Oh, they got Pedri at 92 overall. And they have a lot of regen slash youth players. Joao de Menses. I don't know if I've said that right, but this is the Cristiano Ronaldo regen. Oh my God. They also have this guy who I think is which regen is that a striker left wing and cam from belgium who is that we've surpassed the 500 win mark in our entire career this is still just the beginning we're only in 2035 all right so in year one with chelsea 2036 we won the league and also the fa cup but sadly out to real batiste in the champions league and real batiste won the champions league i got a feeling things are about to get crazy in this video diago messi is 94 overall on bayern and ronaldo jr is 98 overall overall on Tottenham Hotspur. They came home, England won the Euros. In 2037, Lazio won the Champions League and Adeyemi won the Golden Boot in the Champions League. We're so far into career mode, this man is now 35 years old. Moving on to 2038, where Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. has won his first Champions League. He also won the Golden Boot in the Premier League. You know what, uh, for that reason, and also the reason that like Chelsea kinda sucks now, I'm gonna be moving to Tottenham Hotspur. All right, let's see how good Ronaldo Ronaldo Jr. really is. But first, the 2038 World Cup. Okay, Ronaldo Jr. is doing really good. He has now won the World Cup as well. Yeah, he's 99 overall. Oh my God. The funny thing is, even he is old at this stage in career mode. He's 28 years old. And just to confirm, yes, we are in the air 2038. At this point, like, what comes next? Thiago Messi finally wins the Champions League with Bayern Munich. This is year 2039, by the way. 40 Valencia win the Champions league and also in this year england won the euros again and watch this boys this is crazy in 2040 we've basically made it to a point in career mode where no real players exist anymore okay yes we do have bellingham we have imbamba and we have Jaden sancho i didn't even realize that but most of these guys are only on the team because i forced it so they can't retire check this out when i scroll through and just try to, to search random players they're all fake they're all just like generated players every real person is God. So far, we haven't broken career mode yet. Hey, so I'm just gonna keep simming. Let's let's see how far we can freaking get, boys. All right, we move along. 2042. Ronaldo Jr.'s won the World Cup again, but he's 32 years old and might be retiring soon. Also, he submitted a transfer request. Our weirdest occurrence yet. 2043. West Brom win the Prem. But Champions League is Barcelona. 2043. 2050s are our next goal to get to. Oh, this is getting ridiculous. 2044. I, I don't even know. Bro, I've been at this video. I'm not even kidding you. Like five hours and... I don't even know how long this video is going to be. Oh, no, it's the Euros this year. England finally lose. All right, we're going to put this season to the test. All of the players left on Spurs have a one-year contract, and I'm not going to re-sign any of them. So we're going to see what happens if you just don't re-sign players in career mode. 2045, bro. We're so far to the future. If anyone is watching this in the year, year 2045, le leave a comment. It's crazy that one day that will happen. Hopefully, this video will still be up in 2045, and I I'm going to be like 50 years old. I guess every player player one year left on their contracts oh wait i just saw leeds united won the prem all right let's click and season what will happen moment of truth here's the squad oh okay wait why are there players i didn't resign anyone but there's somehow still 18 players on my team this guy's joining a team when the transporter opens um this guy's also joining a team let me let me sim one more day all right can we have less is it possible to have less than 18 players on one team we no we still have 18 what it's like the game automatically signs you more players when you go below 18 i guess oh we still got these two dudes who are sick and 
They're, they're just they're just not real players. Will career mode ever end? So this is one of those weird videos where it could end at any moment. We might be ending right now. I think this is 2045 or 46. I can't even remember. I've been sitting at this screen for 10 minutes. Like I'm not even getting you 10 minutes. And it loaded in. Okay, we're not done. The longer career mode goes, the longer it takes to load, I guess. And yeah, we are in the year 2046. It's time for me to, to simulate until the game breaks. Something crazy happens. I'm, I'm just going to put my controller down and, and sim till I can't sim no more. Okay, 2050. Look who just won the Prem. No, no, no. Oh, I thought it was going to crash. Okay, we're good. Um, I'm on Everton now, by the way. That, yeah, that happened. But Coventry won the league. What's going to happen after 2050, man? I'm actually nervous. We've come to the end of the season. It's just we go. We move on again. Okay. For some reason, I was expecting it to end there or crash or like I've never been past 2050. Will it crash? Will we get to move on? This is the moment of truth. I've been waiting here for like 10 minutes. It literally just crashed. Oh my God. No. No, and I mean crashed. I mean crashed. Like I, I literally I have to restart and I don't, need, I don't even think I'm going to be able to load back in. So I've tried multiple times. Spin. I'm in 2049. You cannot get past 2050 in career mode. We end with not a single real player still playing football the only player that remains is tiago messi at 86 overall even cristiano ronaldo jr yep he is gone it's the climactic ending that, that's the end of career mode click to watch another video that youtube recommends subscribe to the second channel and well bye i guess